Rise up, rise up, brothers and sisters, kings and queens, boys and girls, friends, frenemies, and your agents. This is Brother Marley. This is the Gambi One channel. So I wanted to speak a little bit about the end of, or the reaction to the uh, trucker protest in Canada and how there is a direct line that connects between what's happening over there in, the, in Ottawa, in Canada, and what's happening here in the Gambia. Keep up with me, it's not a long video. I won't take too long to describe it. So listen, the reaction that the government over in Canada has taken to the truckers has been very stern and very stiff. On Monday, Canada invoked the emerg cabinet invoked the Emergencies Act to restore public order. Information is now being shared by law enforcement with Canada's financial institutions. Financial service providers have already taken action based on that information. The emergency measures we put in place are being used, they are having an impact, and they will have a growing impact in the days to come. Since Monday's announcement, I've spoken directly with the heads of our major banks and with the director of FinTrack. If your truck is being used in these protests, your corporate accounts will be frozen. The insurance on your vehicle will be suspended. The consequences are real and they will bite. They have, not only have they um, seized um, the, and, and even spent the money that the truckers um, were able to raise through crowdfunding donations, but also they were able to um, seize their assets, the actual trucks as well that were parked there, and then put those up for sale. So they've got this real kind of like no tolerance. And it's what is interesting about it is that there isn't actually a law per se that for the whole group that's been broken. You know, there's not been a law that's broken from, from this protest. The protest was done peacefully. They had asked for um, permission before they did it. And yet, the government looked to find a way of quelling that protest. Um, not just by, let's get the police out there and tell them to go home. Not the usual ways of getting, you know, battering rams. The way that, the way that mili the police are militarized against black Americans when they protest, they use guns. When it comes to those uh, truckers in Canada, they use finance. They really hit them where it hurts. <laughs> so what does that have to do with those of us who are making our way over to Africa? Who are finding, you know, that we're not happy with how the system is um, serving us in the West and we want to go back to Canada, go back to Africa. Well, there's this word freedom. Freedom has been banded about by everybody, by um, protesters in America, you know, like January 6th protesters and those, those types, um, those truckers in Canada. They've been speaking about the tyranny that has um, taken place you know, as a reaction to the whole coronavirus pandemic. Um, and now everyone's talking this freedom word. And what's funny is that here in Gambia, where I, I, haven't, I don't know a country more free than this place, as far as the government is concerned, as far as governing is concerned. A lot of times, oh, let me turn off my engine, hold on, my engine running. Don't need that. That's better. A lot of times when people are talking about freedom, they are concerned about what's happening with um, laws that have been put in place, stopping them from doing what they want to do, uh, stopping them from um, expressing themselves, so on and so forth. Over here in Gambia, 
where yes there are laws but in general not everybody but in general the response to new edicts new rules new laws that are brought down by the government even the old ones things around traffic things around where you can park your car things around you know uh business interactions between individuals they're not readily um enforced so it means that there are a lot of people who are making their own mind as to what should happen and that in and of itself is freedom and i find there's a lot of people from the diaspora who come over here and complain about too much freedom they need you know laws there needs to be more laws more rules more so on and so forth but i digress the reason why i want to mention this do this video is because when we look at how the government has reacted to those truckers what did those truckers actually want those truckers were looking at the rules and laws that are put in place and saying i'm not really liking the way you're dealing with this whole covid thing many of them were already vaccinated so it wasn't a question of whether the vaccine is good or bad as far as i'm concerned the vaccine um is good it was their um it was the government's response or the government's handling of that whole um pandemic that they were protesting <clears throat> so they stepped outside of what was um deemed as acceptable by the government the government started by um speaking badly speaking down about those protesters the kind of thoughts they have are not correct they're all racist and so forth that's what they were doing and then once they had put that out as a narrative they then went into speaking about uh, sorry then went into hitting them in their pockets now there's been um many people especially uh from america i've noticed it more from america where people have had their bank accounts frozen when those banks have seen too much funds being taken from the American banks and sent to Gambia. I've seen too many for me to say, well, that's just a one-off. I myself, when I went back to the UK a couple years ago, I had sent over some money from Gambia to the UK. Now, what was interesting was that they said it was going to take about four days for this money to come over. So, okay, fair enough, fine. So, I took my time, went back four days later on, looked in my account, the money was in my account. Great. Used my ATM, my bank card, put it in, took money out. Great, no problem, no problem at all. Then, I went and said, went into the branch and said, I want to take out a large withdrawal. So, they said, well, why do you want to take out a large, large withdrawal? I said, because I want to buy a uh, food truck I was thinking that over here in Gambia I could do a food truck it'd be pretty cool they said well where's this money coming from I said well the money's coming from my account back in in Gambia they said well we don't know whether this money is um, is some fraud or something and I was like well, you didn't know before, but I was taking money out of my ATM. So clearly that's fine. You've done your checks already because I've already started taking money out. They were unconvinced. And they're unconvinced I was going to spend the money on this food truck. They said, well, maybe you're trying to take this money out under duress. Maybe someone's forcing you to take this, this large um, withdrawal. So basically what they did was they shut my account down. They shut my account down. I have no account in the UK right now. Um, and I haven't had one for a couple of years now. So be aware that over in Canada, they have made these new rules and new rules out of nowhere, just made them up off the top of their head, where they're going to work in conjunction with PayPal, MasterCard, Visa, so on and so forth, your banks, to be able to tell them this person is bad. 
they don't need to put you in, on trial. They don't need to put you in a court. You don't actually need to be um, even convicted of anything. They can just say these people are undesirables or the way they think is uncor is not correct. So we want to freeze our accounts. Freeze our accounts now. And those companies are working in conjunction with the government. Now, my suggestion is that if you are thinking of coming over to Africa, don't tell everybody. Wait till you get here. Because they are also tracking our social media. So if uh, the terms Blacksit, repatriation, back to Africa, so on and so forth, all those kind of things, if we're triggering those kind of words, they can deem us as having thoughts that they don't see as uh, befitting a person from the West. They closed my account. Metro Bank in London, they closed my account because of some nefarious... Re hey, oh, uh, maybe it's fraud. Maybe you're frauding. Maybe you're taking out money to buy a van under duress. Okay, okay, okay. That's just me. But now I've seen these other brothers from sisters from the from the states having the same problems. I need to bring it to your attention. So if you're coming over here, I would suggest writing that you're coming over on holiday, two week holiday. That's fine. But all the buzzwords around moving to Africa, save those till you get here. Save those until you get here. This is your brother Marty, signing off. Peace.